people living in a small Arkansas town in shock tonight after a police officer is accused of faking a cancer diagnosis in an effort to collect donations. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Tonight that officer is under investigation while people are asking the question, where did the money end up? Our Samantha Boyd is live in England tonight to explain how authorities found out and what happens now. Samantha. Yeah, Donna, as you just mentioned, the Lone Oak County Sheriff tells me there is an open investigation over an England police officer who was taking donations for leukemia, though it was later confirmed he never had it. We've learned through his attorney that his name is Sergeant Eric Caffey. At the time, he was a school resource officer for England High School, but he has since been moved to a new position in the police department. I talked to his attorney, Bill James, today about how this all happened. And he says Sergeant Caffey did believe and was told he had leukemia, though doctors later discovered it was a blood pressure and kidney issue instead. But in the meantime, people here in this small community were raising thousands of dollars for him and his treatment. I talked to a woman at a local flower shop who did not want to go on camera, but she actually organized some of the fundraisers because she and her coworker are both cancer survivors. So for them, finding out he never had leukemia and they donated to it is an extra low blow. This town is very good, just outpouring love and support. And like I said, with our cancer journeys, we would just never, ever want anybody to be in our shoes or to make up a situation like that. He didn't ask anyone for money, as I understand. I said I didn't ask for this, I don't need the money. And, and then he just said, well, I guess it's a love offering. And, you know, he took it. Now, James tells me they have the money Kathy received in James's trust fund, and that adds up to more than $4,500. They're prepared to give that back to whoever wants a refund, and he did show me proof of this today during our interview. Meantime, it's important to note that the Lone Oak County Sheriff has also told me that that police officer is on administrative leave right now with the England Police Department. And I did reach out to that police department for a comment, though they're not able to say anything right now because of the open investigation. Reporting live in England, Samantha Boyd at Fox 16 News.